welcome to my channel please don't forget to subscribe and click the like button please subscribe and click the like button okay let's get to the topic at hand so today on teachable moments I just saw on the news where this guy this lady's handyman killed her this married woman he stabbed her and stuffed her body in a duffel bag isn't that terrible it's very horrible crying that should not have happened to her and he probably is going to get life in prison I'm pretty sure even though sometimes they let these people out too soon but anyway uh, so he goes and killed the lady and she had an affair with this guy and her husband wasn't home at the time and the guy according to report he uh he she was trying to break up with him and he didn't want to go for it and so he attacked her killed the woman it's very unfortunate for her family you know and so this is very tragic and terrible and he was not justified in any way shape or form to kill this woman for the record that's why i want to say he was not justified however this is why committing adultery is not good because it not only hurts us it hurts our family our loved ones and everyone have to deal with uh you know things from this and so you know when we make poor decisions like she did you know i don't know why i'm not gonna say anything about why she did what she did i'm just want to point out how these things can lead to a very traumatic devastating things to happen uh, to our family and or us as in her case she's dead she's gone and so but we reap the consequences of what we sow i'm not saying she deserved to die i'm just saying you know it kind of reminds me of the movie unfaithful with richard gear how his wife was cheating on him and he went to the guy's house and killed him and the very end it was an accident supposedly or anyway he lost it or something and it reminds me of the movie fatal attraction remember that movie very famous movie with uh was it michael douglas and uh uh the woman he had an affair with tried to kill his wife or kill him you know she was acting all crazy and came to his house and terrorized his family and so these things can happen so we don't want to get involved in these things they're they're overrated and the world calls these call adultery now a fair a fair means a party an event and so they call it an affair and so it's sending the wrong message about these type of things and so you know, this, these things are dangerous. This only reason God, main reason, one of the reasons that God told us not to do these things is because of stuff like this. Bad things happen. They call them love triangles, triangle. You know, he probably wanted her to leave his wife. I mean, leave her husband. And she probably, probably, I'm just saying, I don't know if she did or didn't. But for some reason, he couldn't just walk away from the relationship. And so we don't want to do things like this. We don't want to do things like this. I'm not claiming to be a uh, Miss Holy Perfect Woman of God. No. I have my shortcomings like everybody else. I just want to create a teachable moment that this is not good to do things like this. We put ourselves in danger. It also reminds me of the movie uh, Temptation by Tyler Perry where the woman cheated on her husband because he wasn't giving her enough attention and then uh she wound up having an affair with this very rich man and he gave her aids and so i'm not saying this to scare us i'm just saying it's a teachable moment you know that we have to be careful that we read what we sow 
you know it doesn't mean god won't forgive us when we repent but it's just that the consequences god doesn't always remove he usually doesn't remove the consequences of these type of things and so we don't want to get in these type of situations and so if someone if your spouse doesn't give you enough attention that's not a reason to cheat but on the other end we want to make sure that we uh, give enough attention to our spouses the bible says that the husband's body belongs to his wife and the wife body belongs to her husband and so we want to make sure we we are there for our spouses and not get too busy working and uh, paying the bills and, and spending too much time with our children or friends we want to pay attention for those of us who are married but anyway i just want to put that out there as a teachable moment that she put herself in danger she did he had no right to do what he did number one but she put herself in danger by messing with this guy and she didn't even know you know he that he was a murderer and he probably wasn't he probably just snapped and lost it and that can happen and so that's why we want to be careful of these type of things that's all i'm just saying putting out there because sometimes people we you know when we're married and we cheat like with jada pinkett and will smith we we married and we cheat these people that we're cheating with you know, they may not be able to let go as we are. It's easier for us to let go because we got a spouse waiting for us, those of us who are married. But it may not be too easy for them to let go. And so that's where the danger comes in, these type of things. And so we have to be careful and not get involved in these illicit relationships. Okay, that's all I got to say. Please comment below. Please like. If you don't comment, at least click like. Thank you. And uh, yeah, so I look forward to hearing for, from you. Please leave a comment. Share with you later. Bye-bye.